In this home theater builder series video, I'm talking seating, and I'll break down why I chose this oversized couch over home theater chairs. So seating is one of the most theater-esque items in your dedicated space. When you think about the entire theater experience, most people instantly picture sitting in a large reclining chair. It's iconic, and there are all kinds of options for chairs with loads of technology features integrated as well. In my home theater though, in particular, I felt chairs weren't really an ideal choice. What we purchased for our room was a Kivik series sectional from Ikea. Kivik comes in various sectional options. Our couch is made up of two chases and a double cushion sofa. This makes for just over a 13 foot wide seating area with big cushion space capable of fitting multiple adults in each section and room for about two families overall. So my room is about 18 feet deep, about 16 feet wide, and with about a 14 foot setback from the screen to the seating position, I wanted to have about four feet of depth behind the couch. So this really only allowed for one row of seating for me. I wanted well positioned surround speakers that serve the main seating spot with good distances from the heights as well. And I also didn't want a second row right up against the back wall. Had I gone with theater chairs in a single row, we would have fit just one row of four chairs then. Depending on the chair width, that might even have been a tight fit. Chairs would generally only sit one person as well, thus we would have been limited to seating for four. With the extra wide couch though, we can fit two full families cozily but still comfortably. This is another reason that we opted to put bean bags down in front of the uh, couch instead of a table. Kids often like to sit on the floor anyway and lean on or lay on the bean bags when we have multiple families here. Some family members of ours also just generally prefer the chase style seating as well to lay down during a movie. So choosing the couch served to make the room more comfortable for everybody overall and inviting for the different ways that our family members like to sit and watch a movie. Another benefit in my opinion of the couch for this space was being able to sit with your head up above the couch back and in the open air. When you sit in a recliner or a large home theater chair, the back often comes up very high, usually to the level of your head or ears or maybe even above. This affects how sound reaches or is maybe blocked from getting to your ears. And in a smaller constrained space, I feel more audible quality is presentable and preserved to your seating position with the couch and again your head not obstructed from behind. In a big theater, surrounds are up and all around you, but in a smaller room, I have just the two side surrounds and two rear surrounds set on stands. Just just above seated ear height of the couch. And again, I wanted my head and ears unobstructed to all of that sound. With chairs, you get other things too, like cup holders and a bit more seating support. But we mitigated this by putting several oversized pillows on the couch so you have something to comfortably lean on and give you some extra support, as well as putting a couch table behind the actual couch, giving you a place to set remotes, drinks, and snacks and keep them within easy reach. And again, the bean bags serve either as foot rests for non-chase sitters or as extra seats on the floor for the kids. So overall, I feel the low profile of the couch also made the room, this sized room, feel more open. Chairs, I think, would have really dominated the space physically and visually in a way that the couch doesn't. In terms of how we use the couch, I tend to generally sit just left or right of center on the sofa section. My daughter usually sits near me, but my wife and son prefer to lounge more on the chases. I'm certainly the most quality focused user of the room in the household, so I'm drawn to the sweet spot. And you can usually judge the technical quality of a movie based on either how centered I sit or how close to my wife I sit off to the side. A movie that is a highly technical and impactful audio experience will see me sitting towards that center sweet spot, but with my son's pick of Scooby-Doo, I'll be over on the side snuggling closer to my wife. My seating choice was also influenced by project budget. Home theater chairs can get expensive, and I just didn't want to allocate many thousands of dollars to seating. The entire large Kivik set was just under two grand, delivered and installed. Yes, it's Ikea, but it's plenty nice enough furniture, in my opinion, and it's better than a lot of the general Ikea stuff. By managing the seating costs, though, I freed up dollars for other AV performance-minded elements in the room, and I really don't feel that an Ikea couch was a, really a sacrifice at all. Other aspects worth mentioning with the couch were based on trying to pick a comfortable 
comfortable fabric, as well as picking a neutral darker fabric. We didn't consider leather, and while we have a black in a lot of the room, for the couch we went with more of a dark gray to add a little contrast and color variety instead of having everything so dedicated black. But still, it's very neutral and it disappears away in an unlit room. So I don't want to downplay theater chairs by any means. They're very cool and they really make a theater space, particularly a larger venue or larger room or a multi-row type of space. But depending on your needs, consider both theater seating and couches and you might find a lot of virtue in a sectional type sofa. Keep in mind as well that you're talking about a quiet, remote, cozy, dark space and those ending credits get kind of long, if you know what I mean. So what kind of seating have you chosen for your space and why? Let me know in the comments. And take a look at my other home theater builder videos as well as the rest of the content on the channel. Please smash that like and subscribe button. Every time you do, all of our rooms get a little bit darker.